Steven Crowder whipped out his what? He showed his winky on the show? No! Well, friends, when it gets worse, it seems like it gets worse. That's right. I'm the man you may know as Z from Our Reviews Will Kill You. And I'm going to talk again about Steven Crowder. This one, it's it's just interesting because once the knives come out, they come out and they go they go hard in the paint. Now, this one, I am not necessarily going to agree. This is like the worst thing on earth that I've ever heard of. But it's it just they start dragging you through the dirt. As soon as they get a chance. So, you know, I imagine more stuff will come out. And this is all connected to the, you know, alleged abuse that Crowder has issued on his employees and on his wife. So when you get into those type of things, now they're talking about him allegedly exposing his genitals repeatedly to employees. Now, (laughs) I have seen... um, uh, I, I watched a little bit of uh, Kyle Kalinske's reaction and, uh, you know, and now it's the Daily Beast and every, everybody's going after him. I think it's a little weird. They call him a conservative shock jock. I don't know that I agree with that. Um, but this is their, their, it's not looking good for good old Crowder. Apparently they interviewed several of his former employees and, and they've, discussed it many times of them showing i guess he's showing his junk uh i don't know what all this is about it's it's just very strange um but here in this article and we'll have some audio where we get to hear crowder he will rebut this himself and i think eh, it's not the best look but it's not it's not that bad dropped his junk as they report here um the, you know, as they're saying, this is just days after an explosive video showed him a, a, allegedly a, a, emotionally abusing his wife. But according to 10 former employees, Crowder regularly engaged in unhinged tirades, forced subordinates to wash his dirty laundry, and even exposed his genital, genitals to co-workers. Six of the sources claim they firsthand witnessed Crowder exposing himself. He climbed over and dropped his junk on top of Jared's shoulder. Said one ex employee. Uh, his name, I guess, was not Gay Jared. Um, some were claiming that the behavior is a power play. Uh, nobody responded to the claims, but they did respond on their own podcast or his own show on Louder with Crowder. And of course, these guys aren't, aren't buying it, but. Uh, I will say that he related it to his comedy sketches. So, okay, all right. And now, that. now there's this newspaper article out this morning where um, it says, "quote Crowder was known to expose his genitals to staff." Well, hold on a second. Yes. Uh, yeah. Well, d- yes. Just wait. I mean, that did happen. I mean, what are you talking about? The Terminator Two sketch? No, but the, the, at the time, you only had five employees, and they were all male. Well, yeah, I know, but I, look, frat house behavior is frat house behavior. I, I'm not going to say. I don't think you explain it away with frat house behavior is probably not the smart play on this one, but you, you're going to get flayed alive if you go with that. But let's, let's keep going. Is that was a Terminator yeah. 2 sketch? Because remember the nudies didn't fit? Oh, is that's it that right. one, Sam? Yeah. Well, now there was are... Was it the E.T. ones uh, through the cornfields where we had to run naked through yeah, the cornfields? Yeah, we were naked in that one. Yeah. We were naked in that one, too. That was yeah. a good one. That was the night, though. Was it Gay Captain America? Because what happened is the... It's a cold. The, the onesie didn't fit, so we just had to make it a nosy, and there was no. <laughs> um, well, so what had happened was gay Captain America, huh? Oh, boy. Well, now that there are ladies here, we have to run things differently. This isn't like the Terminator clip. Well, I know it's not like the Terminator clip. Do we have... Well, yeah, let's, there's... Well, do we have the Terminator play, clip? Let's play the clip. Yeah, I got it. it. Yeah, okay. with me if you want to learn look okay of course yes many people saw my balls yeah, well yeah but i had yeah. a sock on because the nudies wouldn't fit you couldn't do oh and i did i did watch this clip where it ends is uh... do it yeah right yeah you yeah. have a large posterior yes exactly so nudies don't and there were also times where we played this about the ball game yeah well uh we need to stay on topic as well okay i thought it was a topic continuing with the infractions riley said quote 
govern me harder, Daddy. Riley? <laughs> oh. <laughs> she, just, oh she ran away. She doesn't even, she doesn't even seem remorseful. Wow. <laughs> Jeez, Riley? Riley said that. These aren't all that bad. Uh, I mean, but thank God we didn't get to the hot one. Your mic isn't really working all that well. Um, yeah. Uh, I think... Wait. It, know, actually, hold on a second. The game... Uh, you hit the game button over here. Oh, okay. Let me... Uh, yeah, it's right there. Is that your testicle? Yeah, it is. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you suck, Sam. Oh, suck, Sam, suck. All right, Matt, get out of here. Get out of here. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm not going to say that's the best response that I've ever heard. Um, there are other accusations that he would berate different people on the show and things like that. I don't know that making a spot the ball gag is... Uh, like, that sketch wasn't funny. I think that's the biggest crime here, is that that sketch was not funny. Uh, it didn't make me laugh, and I saw it coming a mile away, and just wasn't funny. So maybe we need some better writers back. Maybe if you hadn't scared them all away, things would be funnier. It's, it's not even so much. It's just the fact that the juvenile behavior is... You, you can't justify it just by because it's juvenile. You, you can... And it's just comedy. I mean, you can get away with it being comedy. I just don't think that's the way you play it off. It's like, oh, look, we were making hilarious jokes all those times. And here's another hilarious joke. Yeah, it's, it, but it's it's not that funny. So I don't know. What do you think? Do you think this is a this is a problem? Is this a huge thing? Should we cancel them over it? I, I don't think it is. I, I think it's part of the show. If you know you're in the show and it's something that he does, you know, you can't. It's, it's like you can't come back like a couple years later and be like, oh, you know, I wasn't happy with him dropping his balls or whatever. You got to say it then and there. And if you don't, you can't come back and complain about it later. You know, look, Dave Landau literally left the show and was like, this is what happened. This is why I wasn't happy. And didn't, you know, he kept it not personal. So all that is, he said it was a contract dispute. This is just them throwing darts and, and throwing daggers, trying to get him while he's down. They're just kicking a man while he's down. And I don't think it's really anything to write home about. You know, it's not like he was trying to sexually assault somebody or whatever. So, my own personal opinion, not that big of a deal. Not that even interesting. His explanation, again, crime against humanity. But other than that, let me know what you think in the comments down below. We do have a full-length live audio podcast. You can catch that on Stitcher, Spotify, iTunes, free for you guys. Uh, we'd absolutely love for you to listen to it. Uh, you can also catch the live stream of that podcast streaming on YouTube, 7.30 p.m. Friday nights, Eastern Standard Time. Come join us there. Come join the party. It's good times. And uh, what else? All sorts of stuff. Thank you for listening. We appreciate it. Uh, but I'm on to the next one. Let's go. Let's go.